Runway operations seem routine, but we all know how complicated they really are, and we don't take this complexity for granted. The data is telling us we need an increased focus and heightened awareness when it comes to runway safety. Despite our safety record being second to none, we will continue to mine the data and provide you with national trends. I appreciate the time you are taking to view this short video. This video will highlight key points and tips to help reduce risk on our runways. Our safety record is no accident. Your attention to detail is what makes our system safe. Thank you. As pilots, we know we're responsible for the safety of the passengers we have on board, but we're also responsible for the safety of those we encounter on runways and taxiways. Hi, I'm Mark Ward, general aviation pilot and a certified flight instructor. Van Nuys is a general aviation airport with a diverse mix of traffic and pilot experience, and it's one of the nation's 50 busiest airports. In this video, we focus on several surface safety issues at Van Nuys Airport. Minimal space between parallel runways, line up and wait, wrong runway landings, and helicopter fixed wing operations. Within a recent 18 month period, Van Nuys Airport experienced 45 incidents where a pilot, vehicle driver, or pedestrian ended up on a runway or taxiway without authorization. 62% of these surface incidents were a result of pilot deviations with more than three quarters of them ending up as a runway incursion, many involving locally based pilots. So we all have some work to do. You may be thinking, that could never happen to me, but unfortunately it does happen, and it can just as easily happen to you. Let's take a look at surface risk and best practices you can use at Van Nuys Airport to prevent runway incursions. First, remember that ATC is there for you. If you are ever uncertain, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify an instruction or a clearance. By using the keywords say again, verify, or confirm, write your instructions down or highlight them on an airport diagram in your electronic flight bag. At Van Nuys, hold lines are not uniform throughout the field. Pilots must actively look for, locate, and, when clearing the runway, get the aircraft completely across the double yellow hold lines before stopping. At many airports with parallel runways, similar to Van Nuys, there is minimal space between them, causing the hold lines to come up quickly after clearing the landing runway. Make sure you hold short of the parallel runway and remain on the tower frequency until instructed to cross. The controller will coordinate the crossing of the runway and then switch you to ground control after you've cleared all runways. Line up and wait is utilized at Van Nuys to stage aircraft on the runway for imminent departure. When you're at the runway, do not depart without receiving your takeoff clearance. If it seems you've been sitting on the runway longer than necessary, exercise your pilot in command authority and confirm your last clearance. Nationally, wrong runway landings are on the rise. To avoid that mistake, positively identify and read back your assigned runway. Notice that at Van Nuys, runway 16 right is wider and longer than runway 16 left. When landing the other direction, note that runway 34 right is staggered about 4,000 feet to the north of runway 34 left. If you are ever uncertain of your landing runway, do not hesitate to ask for clarification. Similar to many busy GA airports, helicopter operations are common at Van Nuys. Helicopters should avoid overflying taxiing aircraft. And, to avoid rotor wash and unexpected maneuvering, taxiing aircraft should be alert to and provide ample space for helicopters operating to and from ramps and taxiways. By using these best practices when operating at Van Nuys Airport, and by sharing your knowledge with fellow pilots, we can reduce general aviation runway incursions. Working together, we can contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.